When rock and roll legend Jerry Lee Lewis famously married his 13-year-old second cousin, Myra Gail Brown, in 1957, the scandal nearly destroyed his budding career overnight. At just 22 years old, Jerry seemed poised to claim the crown as rock musician's newest sensation. But his defiant union with adolescent Myra barked massive backlash and public content that almost ruined the killer. While Jerry Lee eventually bounced back, few know what became of his notorious teenage bride. Join Faxverse as we reveal Myra's side of the story and how she views that shocking rock and roll marriage more than 60 years later. How They Met and Secretly Wed Myra Gail Brown first met Jerry Lee Lewis in 1949 when she was only five. Her family had recently moved from Louisiana to Memphis, where her father, J.W. Brown, got a job as a lineman. After a work accident left J.W. with a large settlement, he invited his cousin Lewis, then an aspiring 21-year-old musician, to join him in Memphis. J.W., a bass player himself, wanted to help Jerry Lee get a recording contract with the famous Sun Records studio, which soon became the epicenter of rock and roll. When 13-year-old Myra first laid eyes on Jerry Lee after he came to live with them, she didn't think much of the lanky country boy with a silly haircut. But the perception quickly changed once she heard him play the piano. Lewis had an energy and rhythm like no one she'd ever seen. The way his fingers glided around the piano and even kicked at the piano keys had Myra and her family captivated. It wasn't long before Jerry Lee also took notice of the smart and mature young girl. Lewis soon began turning up unannounced outside Myra's school at dismissal time, offering her rides home or taking her out for ice cream. At first, Myra saw it as harmless fun and enjoyed the attention, but Jerry Lee's intentions became clear when he started greeting her with unexpected kisses. Unsure how to react to the sudden romantic gestures from her older cousin, Myra grew confused, but kept it all a secret from her unsuspecting parents. One evening, Jerry Lee asked Myra to come outside and presented her with a startling revelation, a marriage license application with her forged signature. Myra pleaded with him not to go through with it, certain that her furious father would kill him if he found out. But Jerry Lee shrugged it off, confident that her parents approved of him enough to eventually accept their relationship. Against her better instincts, Myra gave in when Jerry Lee showed up the very next day, insisting they drive to the courthouse before she lost her nerve. Still in a daze, the adolescent girl found herself standing before a preacher reciting vows to become the wife of a man nearly 10 years her senior. Public Scandal Erupts In 1958, 22-year-old Jerry Lee Lewis was poised for great success. With his electrifying talent and hits like Great Balls of Fire and Whole Lotta Shaken, Lewis was slated to take the mantle from Elvis Presley as the new king of rock and roll. Lewis embarked on his first major European tour, meant to catapult him to international superstardom after Elvis was drafted into the army. But despite the warning not to bring the real Mrs. Lewis along, Jerry defied it and refused to leave 13-year-old Myra behind. Upon landing at Heathrow Airport, the Lewis entourage was instantly swarmed by British press. Reporters clamored to speak to the rising star while Myra wandered unnoticed in the background. But one persistent journalist singled Myra out, questioning why she was traveling with the band. Naively unaware of the looming consequences, Myra openly declared she was Jerry Lee's wife. This admission would lead to catastrophic consequences none of them could have predicted. The next day, London tabloids were ablaze with scandalous headlines. Not only was Myra barely a teenager, she was also Jerry Lee's first cousin once removed. Even more scandalous was the fact that Lewis was also legally married to his previous wife at the time. Practically overnight, the incensed public turned violently against the man they had just recently lauded as their next musical idol. Jerry Lee's remaining shows played to crowds that heckled him relentlessly from start to finish, while protesters marched outside demanding his arrest for child marriage. With their visas revoked, lawsuits threatened, and public outrage at its peak, the entire Lewis company was given 48 hours to evacuate Britain. During their humiliating departure, Myra hid her face while Jerry Lee held an impromptu news conference defending the marriage. But upon returning to the States, their troubles were far from over. 
Jerry Lee's promising career took a catastrophic plunge as radio stations pulled his music and venues canceled his shows. In a matter of months, the talented musician, who had earned $10,000 a night, saw his income dwindle down to virtually nothing. And it was all because of his headstrong decision to proudly claim Myra as his child bride. Staying together despite the controversy. In the aftermath of the scandal that nearly cost Jerry Lee Lewis his career, the defiant newlyweds clung to each other amidst the media firestorm. They presented a united front in the face of public persecution and family turmoil over their legally binding union. As just a naive 13-year-old thrust into the spotlight overnight, Myra initially struggled to comprehend the vitriolic reaction to her marital status. She resented the harsh judgment cast upon Jerry Lee when to her, theirs was a genuine love story. In her mind, she had simply grown up faster than other kids her age after years of bracing for possible tragedy in the atomic age. And despite his immaturity in many areas, Myra believed Jerry Lee treated her well and valued her level-headedness. However, the non-stop slurs of child bride and cradle robber took a tremendous toll on them both. After enjoying a storybook start to his career, Jerry Lee suddenly found himself a pariah. Promoters wouldn't book him, venues canceled his scheduled concerts, and radio stations refused to play his songs. From practically overnight superstardom and dreams of riches, he was now dodging death threats aimed at separating him from Myra. And yet Myra asserts their forbidden marriage actually grew stronger in defiance. The beleaguered couple took pride in the fact that they had each other during those difficult post-scandal years. According to Myra, weathering condemnation as a team for nearly a decade before the controversy finally cooled, forged an unshakable bond that carried them through any troubles ahead. And it was their shared experiences as scorned outliers that kept them blissfully married for 13 years before things fell apart. Coping with tragedy and moving on. In 1959, they welcomed a son named Steve Allen Lewis, born when Myra was only 14. But in 62, their fledgling happiness came to a devastatingly abrupt end. While Myra was visiting her mother, three-year-old Steve Allen wandered into the backyard pool and tragically drowned. The grief-stricken teen mother collapsed over her son's grave, clinging to his tombstone. The birth of daughter Phoebe in 1963 helped heal her heart a bit, but Jerry Lee grew increasingly unstable and abusive over the years. His violent rages, infidelity, and reckless behavior took a tremendous toll on her well-being. Despite loving him, Myra filed for divorce in 1970. Over a half-century later, Myra reflects on her controversial early marriage with a complex range of emotions. She harbors regret over the damaging consequences for Jerry Lee's career, the years of public shaming they endured, and the painful demise of their relationship. But she also emphasizes the happy early days together and does not outright dismiss the possibility of still making the same choice all over again. She matured rapidly during her adolescent years, according to Myra, and genuinely felt ready for commitment at 13, despite how shocking it appears by today's standards. Now a 78-year-old great-grandmother, Myra finds solace in her quiet suburban life, void of drama. She runs a real estate company with her dependable husband of nearly 40 years. Now it's time to hear from you. What part of this story was most shocking to you? Let us know in the comments section below.